Hi guys, thanks very much for joining me. My name is Gary Herson. Many of you know me as a professional photographer, which I am, but I'm also a qualified life coach. I'm an NLP coach, I'm a life transformation coach, and I'm a negative emotional therapy practitioner. And during this time when our realities are shifting and we, we face with new challenges, I thought that I would um, bring up some points that I've learned throughout my life um, by focusing on my passionate hobby of self-development, but also during my time um, as a life coach. And as mentioned, we are faced now with new challenges, new problems, new realities. So what I thought I would do is um, I would just go through this challenge solving method, which I picked up along my, my way as a life coach. And it starts off with defining the challenge. You know, we unique individuals, some of us are entrepreneurs, some of us work for the corporate world, some of us have family, some of us are single. So we are going to be facing different challenges and ways to solve those challenges. So what we need to do is we actually need to define what the challenges are that are starting to arise or will arise in our lives in the future. So what is it and how significant it is? And this we're going to do by listing, so, or making a mind map of, or drawing a picture, of, or, or trying to determine it uh, creatively. And the reason that we need to list down the challenges is because um, on a day-to-day -day basis, we have anything between 50,000 and 70,000 thoughts floating in our head. And it's almost like these thoughts are on a carousel. They appear, they disappear, they reappear. They appear, they disappear, they reappear. And if... If these thoughts are problem-based, um, what happens is it starts to, and we focus on them, what happens is it starts to raise our level of, level of anxiousness and our levels of stress. And besides that not being healthy for us, what it also does is that the solutions to our problems lie within our subconscious mind. And we really only access our um, subconscious mind during uh, levels or states of relaxation or when we're not really stressed. If you think of a time when you wrote an, an exam at school or you had a, a problem at work and you, the more you focused on it, the more you couldn't find the answer or the solution to this problem. But then the exam was over or you got up from your office and you went for a walk and all of a sudden the answer came to you. The reason is because what happened is you are in a more relaxed state with more access to your subconscious mind, which is the place where the answers have. So why we need you to define the challenge by determining what it is and how significant it is, is because when we write it down, all of a sudden we're taking it off the carousel that is our mind and we're putting it in front of us and we are able to deal with it and it's taking the stress and the anxiousness out of it. All of a sudden we have something to work with. So first step is to define the challenge. What is it? How significant is it? The second one is to analyze the challenge. Now, I think in this time, the challenge that I can work out is that it's the coronavirus. It is this, this virus that is very contagious. Um, the challenge is that it's, we are now faced with re new realities where we have social distancing, where we are, we are told to stay at home, to, to keep, um, to keep ourselves occupied while at home. So I think, we've analyzed that, that challenge, and that challenge is now resulting in the problems or the issues that we are, we are having to deal with. So once we've analyzed the problem, we've got to start determining what to do about it. Um, and I think in this time, the important thing is that we're not in this alone. This is a global issue. It's a global challenge of dealing with this virus that is floating around and now like I've mentioned before, the social distancing and the staying at home, which has been recommended. And not we are not always able to determine what we have to do about it. So what a suggestion is to do here is to look for outside help. Community chat groups, life coaches or coaches uh, speaking to, if it's a health issue, speak to doctors. If it's a financial issue, speak to financial planners and maybe your bank. Um, but whatever challenge arises, obviously discuss within yourself if you're a family, but also if the need be to, to look outside um, of your inner circle to, to get answers to help you overcome these challenges. Then once you determine what to do, we, we need to start implementing the plan. And the first one is, what are you going to do about it? Here, another suggestion is to, to keep this as lighthearted as possible. 
And I really understand the seriousness of, of what is going on, but we need to keep our stress levels as, as low as possible and our anxiousness as low as possible because not only will it affect our health, will we not tap into our, our, our um, subconscious mind, but also, if you, especially within a family environment, we don't want to start creating stress for everybody. So if you have a family, um, maybe turn it into a bit of a game or a bit of a treasure hunt, or a bit of an adventure, so that everybody plays their part. Um, it feels more like a fun activity as opposed to this serious issue that has to be overcome, otherwise it's, um, there's going to be uh, doom and gloom. So, implementing the plan, what are you going to do? Secondly, who's going to do it? Um, who's going to do what? Who's going to contribute what and how they're going to contribute? Maybe parts of the family can search Google. Maybe other parts of the family can create a mind map. Maybe another part of the family can start cooking uh, meals for frozen dinners for, for future for future meals. Um, but who's going to do it? Who's going to do what? And then lastly in this section or in implementing the plan is, but when are you going to do it? And it's important to have a timeline so that it becomes, there's a set deadline to, to, eat, to implementing the plan for each problem or each challenge or, or each issue so that by the set date everybody comes to the table and they have done what was expected of them and they have they can contribute um, a solution to the challenge once all of this is done you've got to evaluate the, pro the, the progress you've defined the channel challenge you've analyzed the challenge you've determined what to do you've implemented the plan and now you have to see if the plan has worked did the plan work? If it didn't, um, what changes need to happen so that we can use it for future problem solving or challenge solving? Um, and once you've and if it works, fantastic. What do you do next? And that is you move on to the next challenge that you've written down. All of this would work according to your list of priorities and significance uh, significance for each challenge. So you're just going to work through the list until you get to the end of it. I hope this has helped. Um, thanks very much for watching. Um, my, my, my closing tips are stay safe. Stay, keep it as fun and lighthearted as, as possible. Exercise, keep your, your health is now imperative as well as the, your social um, connection with your family and your friends and your community. But then also take in mind the social distancing and um, focusing on being by yourself and being creative as possible during this testing time. So thanks very much again for watching. Um, hopefully you'll continue to watch the clips that I, that I upload. Um, and until the next time, stay safe and thanks very much. Cheers.